So you probably see people all over the internet selling courses and you're like, you know, I can shampoo and condition my hair at the same time. I need to share this valuable information with the world. All right, terrible joke, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the best places that you could host that course as well as the community that goes along with whatever it is that you're teaching. And I'm going to cover what you need to consider as the course creator, but also the user experience from the person taking the course because both are very, very important. Our first platform is probably the most well-rounded geometrically speaking it's called circle come on that was pretty good <laughs> all right so what i like about circle is that it's very customizable so you can add certain people to certain groups sort of like discord where they can have different access to different parts of the server and those different parts can be like forums with discussion boards or they can be recordings of course material or they can be chat streams where multiple people are having a conversation about something kind of like slack you can also dm people search the member directory offer paid memberships personalize your web address have a community digest feature where you send updates about the community every week and you can host live streams and you have no membership restrictions whatsoever on the groups that you create and included on some of the more expensive plans are first of all workflows so this means that you can automate certain things inside of your community so someone joins you send them a dm you add them to particular parts of circle etc but the other one that i think is very cool is migration services so if you happen to be hosting your course on another platform they will do a done for you migration over to circle if you pay annually for their business or enterprise plans it is important to note though and i think this is absolutely insane that circle not only charges you for the stripe fees because that's what they use for their paywall but they charge you an additional up to four percent depending on what plan you're on per transactions so you're just giving away a ton of profit to circle if you end up using their paywall feature which i definitely would not recommend there's much better options on the rest of this list one of which is our next platform teachable now i have used teachable for a number of courses that i've personally taken and i quite enjoy the user experience i like that it auto progresses to the next video so once you finish it it'll just start playing the next one which is a nice feature that honestly not a lot of other platforms have it is really important to note that teachable does not have a communities feature though so you need to host your community somewhere else like circle or like a facebook group but again wait for the rest of this video because there are all-in-one tools that do everything you need them to do so you don't have to pay for multiple tools now i think teachable's policy on processing fees is much more reasonable they have a free plan where they just charge you 10 percent of every sale you make totally reasonable for somebody getting started who doesn't want to risk upfront cash although they're going to keep less depending on how much they're selling their course or platform for then on the next tier they take five percent of every transaction but if you're paying for the 119 a month plan they take zero percent of every sale just the stripe fees is what you'd be paying for in that case which is very nice overall really like teachable it's a solid course hosting platform they've also gone into kind of allowing you to do coaching through there as well so you can have video calls host all of your digital downloads or any resources you need to give to your coaching students in there all with a really great user interface for them so again really solid choice here but they don't have the communities feature which is a big drawback Alrighty, this next one is very popular has over 3 billion users and is totally free and it's called Facebook groups now as I mentioned a lot of people will end up doing something like using teachable to host their content and then having the Facebook group as the discussion forum for whatever it is they're selling however why not just cut the course posting platform out completely and host some lessons inside of your Facebook group and then have the discussion continue there they're even starting to add like gamification to Facebook groups so it adds badges to people like top contributor conversation starter things like that which can encourage them to continue doing more and you can also create group chats of everybody inside of a particular group schedule events that everybody gets Facebook reminders for and you just get the added benefit of like people use Facebook a lot so if they're already on there they're probably going to use the community more because then they don't have to go log on to a platform that they never really use in the first place now drawbacks here is that you wouldn't really be able to create a paywall for people to get in it can be a private group but you can't make them pay and then automatically get them in you'd have to approve everyone manually but again this isn't a bad place to start and while you may not want to host your entire course inside of Facebook you could host like a few videos inside of there a Kickstarter course get people in there and then maybe upsell them to something more premium down the line now our next platform 
actually came out of certain course creators frustration with using Facebook groups because everybody in there was pitching. It was so noisy. There were notifications everywhere and he wanted something simpler and more beautiful. And he called it school with a K. So Sam Ovens, who sold millions and millions of dollars of courses, decided, what if I just created an all in one platform with course hosting events, forums, DMs and gamification. So what really set school apart is how much they've focused on the user experience. It's just so minimalistic and it doesn't have things that you don't need, but it does have everything you do need, if that makes sense. And at that moment, you've really like won the community, right? Specifically, the gamification inside of school groups is on a different level that I've seen anywhere else. So basically what you can do here is unlock certain levels for each person. So let's say you have 10 levels and if somebody unlocks level seven, they can get a private coaching call with yourself or access to another bonus course or resource. And this encourages people to unlock that next level and really participate in the group a bunch, which makes your life easier because you don't have to be in there all the time responding to people. If there's, you know, one to 10 course students who are doing it for you and doing an amazing job. I would also say the pricing on school is one of the best I've seen. For $99 a month, you can have one group with unlimited courses underneath it, unlimited members, and every single feature that school has. And another thing that really sets school apart is they don't charge you anything extra above what Stripe would be charging you. In fact, in a lot of cases, it's cheaper than what Stripe charges because Stripe has to increase the fees for international transactions. So the fees are just 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction, which is exactly what Stripe says they charge, except again, extra fees for international transactions. And a couple other really notable features from school are the ability to auto DM members when they come in, which is very nice and send emails, like a lot of emails to the people that join that are very likely to get delivered because they're sending from school and not from you. So by default, when someone joins, they're going to get a daily digest of everything that's happened inside of your group, which really encourages them to go back to the group over and over again. And as school becomes more and more popular, there's actually a lot of people hosting on school. And so you kind of get that network effect similar to Facebook, where people can toggle between the communities that they're in inside of school. All right, next up, we have a very popular platform that used to just be courses and kind of funnels and websites and things like that, but recently released a communities feature that is clean looking like this thing looks really good. And that is Kajabi. Now, Kajabi has previously been the best kind of all in one. You can do everything from it. Like you can run your business by sending emails, adding people to courses, host your website there, and honestly has a ton of versatility in it. The next solution I'm about to show you has taken Kajabi's all in one solution and just level it up amazingly. So I'm going to show you that in a second, but it doesn't negate that Kajabi really has a good thing going on. One note here is that it can be quite complex for beginners to figure out this software, especially if you haven't used any website, funnel builder, or course hosting platforms before. It's going to be tough to learn, but there are a big community of people who understand how to use the software. So you could always hire one of them to come in and build exactly what you want in there. So all of this talk about Kajabi and that there's really a better solution out there brings me to my favorite platform in the world, High Level. Now, High Level has had course hosting for a long time, but not only is it just course hosting and communities, it's literally everything else you would ever need to run your business. I'm talking emails, texts, a CRM, social media posting, integrations with ad platforms, conversational AI, and about 300 other things, which you can check out in this video. I had a friend reach out to me that's launching an online course and she said, hey, which one of these platforms would you recommend using? And I said, you have to use High Level. Like it's got everything you need. And she took a couple of days to take a look at it and she came back and she's like, I'm sold. This is exactly what I need, you're right. Now, some limitations on the communities aspect as of now. Number one, you can't send DMs, but basically right now I would say it's a combination of school, circle, and Kajabi all in one, which is super cool. So you can post in the middle, which is like a forum, but then you can also open other places for people to post like in circle. And then obviously like Kajabi, you have the funnels, you have the website, you have all of the versatility in a real marketing platform. They're also coming out in Q4 of 2023 with an app where everything is going to be hosted in one spot. Right now, the only thing that's available is a progressive web app where the courses are available to go through, which isn't super ideal, but also totally works. And again, the biggest, biggest thing here is that it's just going to save you a ton of money. They're not going to charge you anything extra on top of Stripe fees. You're going to be able to run your entire business through this platform. And it's got all the best features from all of the other ones. So obviously I'm quite biased here, but I love, love, love high level. And I use it for my courses every single day. However, we do have one more platform that might just beat out high level for this particular use case. And 
what it's called is Course Creator 360. Now you may have heard of the company Course Creator Pro or Full-Time Filmmaker, both started by Parker Walbeck. Nowadays, Parker's brothers, Dakota and Stockton, run Course Creator Pro. And what they did is they took high level, but they built on top of it all of these super amazing features specifically for course creators. So they've got the website templates that you need, the automation templates that you need. They've done a lot of work to make email marketing a lot easier for you in there. They're working on some AI rollouts and they're just continuing to think, how can we take high level, but make it more and more specifically catered towards a course creator that's just going to crush it. And they've done an incredible job, I have to say. The other benefits of joining Course Creator 360 over high level is that if you join Course Creator Pro, you actually get access to bi-weekly coaching calls where you can ask questions specifically about your course to Course Creator experts, which is super helpful. And obviously you get access to their community and their courses, which are the playbook for running an online course in 2024 and beyond. For a full list of the differentiators between High Level and Course Creator 360, you'll probably have to ask them because they're constantly rolling out new things. So feel free to reach out. I know Stockton personally, very good guy, and they have absolutely crushed it with their platform. One more thing before you go, if you decide to join any of these platforms, please click one of the links below this video. It really helps support the channel. And if you join High Level, I have tons of bonuses that go along with joining. So definitely check those out if that's something you're intrigued with. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, please send me an email with your credit card number and I will apologize profusely. Take care.